This video is sponsored by NordVPN. What's up everyone? Today we're making Lo My Kai. My name is Randy and we are the Laos. We're on a mission to celebrate and pass down our Chinese heritage, one meal at a time. After 50 amazing years as a Chinese chef, my dad's finally retired and he's here to teach you all of his secrets to make the perfect Lo Mai Kai, a dish he's made hundreds of times. Hello, Lo Mai Gai is a classic Cantonese dish which translates to sticky rice chicken. Legend has it that it was first created in the humble night markets of Guangzhou. Originally, street vendors used to steam this with a bowl and then introduced lotus leaves as a more convenient to go option. Not to be confused by dong, which traditionally uses bamboo leaves and a variety of other fillings, lo mai gai is characterized by its use of glutinous rice and chicken steamed in lotus leaves. Today, it's one of the most popular items at dim sum restaurants around the world. Dim sum, or dim sum, roughly translates to a touch of heart, a reference to the delectable snacks that 10th century tea houses would serve to traveling merchants in Gongzhou, one of the largest international ports along the Silk Road. Even though dim sum is widely considered to belong to Cantonese cuisine, it evolved from a wide range of influences, largely because Guangzhou was and still is a critical hub for Chinese trade and a melting pot of different cultures. For good measure, my dad always washes his rice three times. Afterwards, we'll drain the rice into a colander. After adding the homemade salted eggs, we'll let the pot come to a boil. Wait two minutes, turn the heat off, and let the eggs sit in the water for two minutes before taking them out. We've also included links to buy salted egg yolks online. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. Also known as Nalumbo nucifera or Ho Yip in Cantonese, the lotus is the national flower of Vietnam and India, with a ton of spiritual and cultural significance. In Hinduism and Buddhism, it's a sacred symbol of the path to spiritual awakening, often depicted as a pedestal for gods and deities. In Vietnamese and Chinese culture, the lotus is a symbol of purity, associated with the saying, it's fitting as a symbol of purity because the lotus is actually a self-cleaning plant due to its super hydrophobic surfaces. Water drops onto them, beads up, and rolls off the plant while picking up small particles of dirt. As an ingredient, the lotus plant is extremely versatile as a container, a flavoring agent, medicine, candy, tea, flour, and much more. Dried lotus leaves are often sold at Asian grocery stores, but we also have some links to buy them online, which you can find in the description or on our blog. <laughs> Put 
à, cho ăn chiên thôi à, phí to tiên để xoay đồ thôi, ta lại nhìn nhìn thấy cái xoay cho ăn chiên thôi đi chăm kéo rồi à thông thường đi vô tôi chăm lượng của chúng thầu cái chỗ ngồi vô đồng xe phải dịp chơi ra phải dịp đấy có gì bao lượng cổ đi ra phải dịp đấy thì khá thôi thôi có gì bao lượng cổ nó mày cái đi phải dịp chăm lo cái chân mà đi dịp chào đấy cái xoay chặt gì vậy lấy khơi rồi là cho hay cầm đi dịp cho hay cầm cái đấy nè đi đi đấy phải chú chăm hữu cho rồi là chăm hữu cho chứ nào đi dịp cho hay cầm đó nè chăm hữu xài gì rồi là nó dịp cho hay cầm xử lý hữu là là nó xử lý dục đó đi đi hay cai bể chạy mà chỉ có câu tài cá tìm đến xử lý cái đi cai bể này hữu tối này đấy nếu có nhiều em dùng phê cái đấy cho liền phê ngô cho hữu thông nhiều ok đấy ngô chẳng biết cho phê cái gì rồi là là thấy là cái phê nhiều Repeat this process with the rest of the drumsticks. We'll repeat the process of exposing the bone, breaking it, and pulling away the meat with the rest of the drumsticks. Next, we'll chop the meat into smaller pieces. We'll marinate it with about one teaspoon of cornstarch and two teaspoons of water. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. These are dried shiitake mushrooms and we have links to buy them online in our description. You can use about 4 to 6 mushrooms here. We'll need to rehydrate them in warm water for about 10 to 15 minutes before cutting them. Make sure to save the mushroom juice after rehydrating, as we'll be using it later. Bắt We'll be using three red shallots, first cutting off the ends. Then we'll peel the shallots and smash them. Before we move on, I wanted to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, NordVPN. I first started using NordVPN six years ago when I went on a month-long father-son trip to China with my dad in 2015. As you might know, China restricts internet traffic from apps like Instagram, WhatsApp, and YouTube. 
However, I got around it pretty easily just by connecting to NordVPN and then browsing the internet like I normally would without any restrictions. NordVPN was like my lifeline because I otherwise had no way to keep in touch with my friends and family back home. NordVPN is giving the Made With Loud community a huge discount off of a two-year plan and four months free at nordvpn.com slash madewithloud. I think internet privacy is something more people should pay attention to because people very close to me have been caught up in identity and credit card theft, and some of them have lost thousands of dollars in the process. Oftentimes, you have no idea that this is even happening. Even at home, I have NordVPN activated all the time on all of my devices, but NordVPN is especially helpful in places with public Wi-Fi, like coffee shops or airports, where you're a lot more susceptible to snooping and having your data stolen. Maybe your parents are like mine, but they definitely aren't as tech savvy, and NordVPN has a feature that automatically prevents them from being tricked into visiting shady internet sites that download malware onto their devices. Even if you're not traveling in China, you can use their network of thousands of servers around the world to your advantage. For instance, I know a lot of you out there have expressed interest in improving in Cantonese, and other than watching our channel, one of the best and most entertaining ways to do that is through watching movies. With NordVPN, you can connect to a server in a place like Hong Kong and you automatically have access to the entire Netflix library of Cantonese content available exclusively to people in Hong Kong all at the press of a button. I think it's no-brainer because it makes the internet a bit more fun and a lot safer to use. Setup is really easy and one subscription covers six of your devices. If you're interested, visit nordvpn.com slash madewithlao or click the link in our description for a huge discount off of a two-year plan and four months free. If you try it out and don't think it's a good fit, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. And with that, cheers to a safer internet and back to the recipe. Next, we'll start stir-frying our ingredients. We'll set our stove on high heat and let the wok heat up for two to three minutes. The oil is hot enough when it starts rippling and smoking as we spread it around the wok. We'll let the chicken cook for about 30 seconds with the heat off and then set the stove back to high heat. Let the shallots cook for about 15 to 30 seconds. After adding the 4 ounces of water, we'll stir the wok around for about 45 to 60 seconds. Then we'll set the heat to low and start adding our sauce. For our sauce, we'll be adding 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of light or regular soy sauce, a half teaspoon of tamari or dark soy sauce, 2 teaspoons of chicken bouillon, 2 teaspoons of sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. Here, we're using tamari, which is interchangeable with dark soy sauce. They both have a subtle sweetness and are often used to give food a slightly darker color. Tamari is the OG Japanese soy sauce, as its recipe is the closest to the soy sauce that was originally introduced to Japan from China. It contains little or no wheat, so it's a perfect alternative for anyone out there that's gluten intolerant. It's mainly made in the Chubu region of Japan, and it's a great alternative to dark soy sauce. Next, we'll turn the heat off and mix about 1 teaspoon of cornstarch with 1 teaspoon of water and mix until it becomes a slurry. Right before we add it, we'll set the heat to high and gradually turn it down as the sauce thickens. After adding the cornstarch slurry, we'll cook it for about 2 to 3 minutes longer. Now, 
好，好啦，睇睇到嘛？將條筋啲線咧收到佢結啲，啊，收到佢結，啊。咁而家咧，就用嗰啲個闊口個碟裝起佢，等佢凍。我哋而家咧做咩？啲拖啲蛋嘅先嚇。开佢个蛋之后，攞个蛋黄出嚟，饭就煮熟啦。我而家打松啲饭佢嗬。If you don't have hands of steel like my dad, you should probably use oven mitts here. 饭咧就煮熟啦，而家够翻你嘅汁，捞开啲饭先吓。你呢个系头先浸冬菇嘅水啦，啊，好味噶，唔好晒咗佢。撈撈埋埋，大概用三個安匙嘅水咁上下啦，連埋曬啲，睇你半碗，呀，夠啦，蠔油一個茶匙啊，呀，呢個生抽一個茶匙，咁樣油一個茶匙，咁樣嘅好處咧，撈下啲飯咧，佢就散開，容易散開，即係容易包啲一間嚇，知道嘛？嗱，將呢啲味咧撈好嗰啲，倒佢落去啲飯嗰度，等佢。啲飯濕啲散開，容易包嚇，張生，攞佢落嚟，之後咧，你爬開佢，咁嘅盤拎佢出嚟，拎佢凍，容易包啲啊嘛，容易你喺呢度攞出嚟啲，咪容易攞啲，唔使呢度生啊嘛，係咪？要凍先包啊！凍少少唔使好凍，嗱，撳平佢。你大概要包八個咁上下啦嘛，你咪分開佢咯，嗱，分開佢。好啦，蛋黃，攞啲蛋黃先，我先揾攞個蛋黃出嚟。嗱，呢個蛋黃啊，係嘛？睇到呢個蛋黃啦。八個蛋，一係八個糯米雞啦嘛，一個俾半嚿落去，咁啊得啦。好咯喎，我哋而家開始包咯喎。啲葉我哋一開二嘅，即係一塊開兩下嘅，喺中間。啲硬嘅唔好要啦。然之後咧，我哋又翻開佢呢度。改開佢，改開佢係嘛？咁樣就一塊切四次，一塊葉一切到四塊，我要兩塊，咁樣做做做一個啊，咁樣，咁樣接接埋啊嘛，嚇！我哋包嘅時候咧，呢、這個係嘅面，呢、這個係底嚟嘅，我哋咁樣擺埋佢嗱，這呢度咧我哋唔要噶啦。咁樣好容易啫，係嘛？剪開佢。Now we'll start filling our leaves。呢度我哋攞一半，嗱，鹹片佢，我首先鹹片佢先嚇，嗱，擺喺度，擺喺中間，整個窩度。我哋啲肉咧，有雞肉，有冬菇呢度噶啦。然之後咧，一個腊肠，一個叉燒，一個蛋黃，一份冬菇。啊，擺落嚟嚇，睇到嘛？再咪俾埋呢個半嚿，再鹹扁佢，鹹扁鹹翻面。啊，睇到嘛？啊，咁樣夠啦，係嘛？我哋將呢邊將埋嚟，呢邊接過嚟，啊，咁樣就復轉佢。嗯，咁就係咁啦。就擺喺呢度。We'll repeat this process with our seven other lo mai gai. 呢塊葉有啲裂裂地，我所以咪整多，要要有預備喺度咯，係嘛？剪啲嚟貼住佢啦，係咪？係啊，咁我咪可以剪一塊嚟。嗱，再補翻上去，咁咪得咯，係嘛？
者。係嘛？咁預備咪得咯，係嘛？你有準備先得，有啲有前年啊，佢配位亦會難咗㗎嘛，係嘛？點解你戴手襪？戴手襪唔會唔會黐黐手㗎嘛？又唔使人哋睇住，咦？你咁邋遢啦咁啊嘛？戴手襪咪好啲啦，係嘛？我試下仔。咩事啊？咩？你試下咯。嗯。OK。扁平嘅，咁扁嘅，再扁啲中間深啲落去。呀、yeah. ，嚟擺擺過呢度，筆啲就過嚟，筆多啲。Yes， 嗱，一個，呀，呀，叉燒，嘢係咯，係咯，係咯，嘢，揾到，俾個冬菇過嚟，呢個得個冬菇過嚟，嗯，咁先得，嘢，再整埋呢個花生嘅感情片，感情片嘅感情就得啦。耶！係咯係咯係咯，撳一撳佢，耶！得啦 ，OK， 咁啦，咁你唔好轉佢，啊，耶！撳一撳佢，撳實啲佢，再拉拉實啲佢，係咯係咯係咯，好啦，得啦，咁即係呢邊撳上，呢邊呢邊拉上嚟，耶！係咯係咯，嗯，呢邊咁整，撳一撳呢度，撳一撳呢個口度。Good， 反正佢，反正佢啦，反正 ，Yeah，Very good，Yeah， 好容易嘅咋，嗱，得啦 ，Wow，I did it， 好啦，而家咧就開始蒸嗰啲糯米雞啦，嗱，俾啲水上去，水咧就唔使話好多嘅，因為蒸嘅時間唔係好長，而家開到慢最慢嘅火，呢個煲專門嚟蒸嘢嘅呢個煲，嗱，兩層嘅。嗱，擺層上去先，我哋將蘿蔔雞擺上去。點解要兩層？唔可以擲字㗎，我解釋俾你聽啦。如果咁樣就仲要熟咧，你夾埋啦，直埋啦，咁佢呢個底下同呢個難啲熟啦，係嘛？所以一定要分開佢，唔好咁擲字做，直蒸先啫。嗱，呢個咁可以分開啦嘛。嗱，擺呢度。Make sure to start steaming only when the water is boiling. From there, we'll leave the stove on high heat and steam for 20 minutes. 糯米雞就蒸熟啦，應該。哒哒哒哒。哦。OK， 三火。OK。糯米雞最好啦，食得紅堆攞嚟食糯米雞。Cam, you want a whole one? Yes. Huh? Ooh, Hong Toi had some the other day. He loved it. You like it? Yes, I love it. Huh? Ooh, this is the best part, huh? Take one, take one, take one. Yum cha, yum cha, yum cha. 糯米雞係嘛？係糯米雞嘛 ？Alright, bring it on, baby. Okay. First question: What is the difference between this and zhong? It's different from zhong. The difference is zhong is not used by this oil. No, this kind of oil has no oil. This 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 一定係要呢個版本喎，你可以任意選擇咩肉都得。你屋企或者我頭先講過，有啲食剩啲咩雞啊，咁俾個雞落去又得。有食剩啲燒鴨啊，咁俾個燒鴨落去又得。我啲叉燒就係、是、就係、是、上次整嘅食剩就切咗叉燒落去。好多人用啲豬肉咁切碎嚟，啲肉碎嚟整呢個，但係我就唔係，我用雞肉切碎做。糯米雞就糯米雞，糯米雞啊！一定要有雞，最好嘅就有雞，因為糯米雞嘛個雞字咧，你如果冇咗雞咧，就好似唔係幾 match 呢個。Can name of the dish, right? We want to make it all vegetarian. Yeah. What are the things that you would add? 一定要冬菇，一定要冬菇先得，乾冬菇先好食。Yeah, dry mushroom. 仲有咩啊？最中意咩就俾咩啊，但係唔可以少咗冬菇。冬菇啊，雲耳啊，金針啊，都 OK。嗯，誒，中專都係啲乾貨，有你覺得佢係有啲
啲甜香嘅味道。有啲人用啲咩做？好似你又可以用啲竹生啊嗰啲，譬如人哋煮煮齋嘅時候多咗有用竹生。嗯，以後哦。Okay. You want any water? Oh. <laughs> okay. How long can you store these for? About uh, refrigerator three to four days. Visa many many days. Like months? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 不过你一定要俾胶纸包住佢，唔好就咁摆落去干晒啦。俾啲袋包住佢。If you want the visa, right? Mm -hmm. You have to cold. Mm -hmm. After cold, you have to let the 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 normal guy cooling <coughs> completely cool. And then you put it in the cold pass bag. When you do it in the freezer, people wanted to know how should you recook it. Ching. Oh, you don't need to let it thaw. Don't let it thaw. Ching. 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 Don't let it thaw. Instead of glutinous. Good. 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 Good you know, how to make sure that the rice doesn't stick too much to the lotus. Is it probably maybe that the rice is too soft? Maybe they soaked it or something? That's what makes it stick to the lotus leaf? No. The rice is soft. The rice is soft. The rice is soft. The rice is soft. You can't eat it. You can't eat it. You can't eat it. Some people say you can use the rice to eat it. You can use the rice to eat it. You can use the rice to eat it. If you had to choose between this one and a jong, which one would you choose? The rice? When it comes to the rice, it is a little bit. I think it is like it. Because it is... The lomai is very soft, it's 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 very soft. For me, it's the same thing. I think I like both. Yeah. But if you ask me to pick which one you like most, then I will pick zhong. Yeah. The rice in zhong is much, much soft. But for this one, it's much, much easy to make. Yeah. Are you happy? Yay! 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 Dear fan, dear audience, thank you for your valuable time to watching our lo mai gai dish. Hong Doi say thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe our channel. And we we'll see you next time. I like lo mai gai. That's my baby food also. I love to eat.